come as well as the bracelet warrior. Welcome to Makosi Today. Thank you and thank you for having me. 3,600 women are raped every day in South Africa. And unfortunately, you were one of them. What happened? You know, it's not just about women that are, are raped. Men are being raped. Children are being raped. And um, I was gang raped in my home. And I just, like you said earlier on, you know, there's a lot of people who can't stand up and fight. For some reason, I have been able to put a voice to what's going on here because we have to do something about it and I feel it's my duty and I will spend the rest of my life doing something about gender violence and and rape in this country. Um, what actually happened to me was I arrived home early one evening, Friday evening, half past eight. I was attacked in my driveway, uh, beaten, robbed and they broke into my house, uh, dragged me into the home and gang raped me. Um, I was very, very lucky because they, after they'd raped me, they tied me up again and um, started ransacking the house. And I managed to, uh, I pulled, they put a tile over my head, I pulled the tile off my head and managed to get off the bed and hit the panic button, which was on my wall, security panic button. And as I hit the panic button, one of them walked back into the room. He saw me hit the panic button and screamed to all the others and um, they sort of threw me under the mattress of the bed and ran. Um, you know, so I, I don't know what would have happened. It could have gone on all night, all night. you know, it's just... But anyway, I um, have decided to take what happened to me, the, the trauma and the traumatic situation and turn it into something that will help other people and other women and children and you know, nobody deserves to be raped, no matter what is going on in wartime. I mean, rape is not something new, but um, it's just the most awful violation that could ever happen to you. And uh, the fact that uh, South Africa is the rape capital of the world, um, we have to do something about it. And babies are getting raped. I mean, it's, it's more than insane. Um, and so what I have done is I spent um, a good few months thinking about what I could do to have changed what happened to me because I knew nobody was coming home that night. And I have come up with a personal security device which will be worn on your arm. It is connected to your security system. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a panic button on your arm. It is also connected via GPRS so that if it gets broken or cut off, because with me, they had a knife this long, they just cut all my clothes off. They took the earrings out of my ears while they were raping me. They take everything from you. Um, so they will break How many it. Were they? Uh, there were three raped me and I think there was four, but I'm not 100% sure about the fourth one. Um, one of the guys has been arrested um, and I won't rest until justice is done. Um, you know, there's a saying that the heavens are not aligned and heaven is not happy when crimes go unpunished. So, and I think that is, that is true 